So, you know, a big part of uh, my whole thing, my whole thing for um, starting to vlog is to be a lot more creative in ways that are also shareable with, with friends, right? Um, uh, this is a really dull knife. Um, but uh, what I think about often is we meet friends, you know, be here, be it, um, you know, here meaning where you live, or be it friends that you meet once in a while, and everyone likes to connect over food. And as we, uh, you know, grow older, grow into adults, all of that, people talk about, oh, you know, what do you eat? What do you make? I feel like a lot of those conversations kind of end up uh, ending at, uh, you know, being inspired or being impressed with what people make or, you know, seeing how people's palettes have changed and stuff. But I feel like what we don't really um, talk about all that often is um, how it can be pretty cool to be inspired by, you know, different kinds of things that people make, um, that your friends make. And, you know, if you feel like it, you replicate it. If you don't, you, you, you know, admire it for what it is. Anyway, a lot of blabber to say that, um, um, I'm gonna really put conscious effort into recording a lot of my um, um, cooking stuff, right? Uh, eyes are watering a little bit, but um, anyway, this is all very cliche to say, but um, the kitchen, you know, really is. Uh, has been for the past several years my uh, arena really of uh, creativity right i mean there's a few other areas where i try to be creative but uh, the kitchen is because i'm so comfortable and so calm and tranquil all those cliches that you throw out right uh, about the kitchen i um, just find room for creativity and um, that uh, has brought me here to wanting to kind of put together how I make uh, one of my favorite uh, go-to recipes. It doesn't take a long time to make this one, but it still is one that uh, requires a fair bit of prep work, um, also a fair bit of searching. Uh, these are fish balls, cod balls, uh, that I'm making in a, a very herby tomato soup, tomato sauce, not soup, and uh, inspired by uh, Odom, Odo, uh, Odom, Odolengi, Yodam Odolengi's, oh wow, that was a mouthful. Uh, Yodam Odolengi's uh, recipe, um, give it my own touch a little bit, but his is perfectly fine. Uh, I just make this fairly often, so I like to um, play around. So, kind of happily now at a point where the prep work for the fish, not the sauce, fish side of things, are is done, and um, here's what it looks like. So, in this bowl is uh, are all the ingredients that will get turned into the the cod cakes, right? So it's a pound of cod here, along with uh, a ton of coriander, a little bit of flat leaf uh, parsley, uh, finely chopped up uh, garlic, I use three cloves, half an onion chopped up again, and mind you, the fish here, as you can see, is also chopped into small dice uh small dice chops um you know you can do it whatever way you could also put it into a processor and then uh, have it be even finer uh, easier to turn into balls i don't really prefer that i i don't want to mess up my um pr processor blades and i also just like this texture a little better two other things that'll go in there apart from the spices the crumb spices that are in there is our um why am i mixing up my is and ours today I don't know, just the way uh, how, you know, shifting from slang to then shifting to proper sentences and whatnot goes. Anyway, that and um, as with most things that uh, involve some kind of marination or mix of spices, uh, half of a small lime, a medium-sized lime, I'd say. And on top of that, uh, salt, of course. And along with the salt, um, some paprika, some coriander powder, some cumin. All of that, you know, I don't like prescribing things. I tend to put in a lot of coriander powder disproportionately so, but that's what I like, right? So um, that's definitely to taste. 
and then really important ingredient in this breadcrumbs because without breadcrumbs uh, your fish cakes aren't going to be fish cakes for too long right so and also obviously the texture element so um, i'm using store-bought breadcrumbs today but in the past i've also just you know used good old vitamix you know whatever process you have thrown some turn some bread and just turn them into crumbs all right um as i was shaving the balls just uh remembered something which is quite important in you know working with any kind of shaping of of any kind of softish meat to you know create balls or any other shape right so uh by the way here's the base for the tomato sauce that the fish balls are actually going to go in uh, looking amazing, smelling even better with all the, just the tiniest bit of, uh, this is about half uh, an onion, white onion with all the ground spices uh, that I list over here. Uh, and uh, here are some of the fish balls that you'll see. So the thing is, um, as you can see, the onions were not chopped up super finely. See, a masterclass in laziness right there. So when that happens, uh, you just tend to see these kind of pop up doesn't bother me i know it bothers some people it i couldn't care less you know even when i'm making dumplings whatever i do not care about if it doesn't fit then that's a problem but i don't care about um onions need to be so fine that nothing ever protrudes uh i do in certain situations but mm, fish cakes not really enough um so anyway because these are still slightly soft as the nature of, of the fish itself, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this in the fridge for 30 to 45 minutes. And uh, if I'm feeling hungry, a little less. And they should be, they should be pretty good by the time uh, they come out. So while the, the fish, uh, the fish cakes, the fish balls, keep calling them fish balls because that's what they are, right? Little spears, but fish cakes, I suppose, uh, works as well. Uh, uh, they're in the fridge, uh, kind of toughening up, firming up a little bit. What I'll do is start work, uh, further work on the uh, tomato sauce. So uh, that's the onion in there. Once the onion has softened up, add a bit of the garlic. Uh, obviously, all the ground spices are already in there. What I did is add a tiny bit of uh, any dry white wine works, had a bit of Chardonnay. Um, and that's been in there for about, oop, fogging up. Uh, that's been in there about uh, two, three minutes, simmering in it. So I think this is a pretty good time to add the tomatoes. And what I'll do then again is let the, let this uh, part of the sauce, this mix, simmer again on fairly low heat, medium low, for about... Um, Three or four minutes, we'll see. We'll see before adding some more spices and herbs. So a tiny little bit of update on things now. The fish cakes are searing here. So that is one of the major differences from the traditional recipe that I adopt. I don't like to fry these. I just like to sear these. Obviously, it ends up taking a lot of time. But see the beautiful color on this. And obviously, uh, you can fry it if you like. I just uh, don't enjoy eating a lot of fried food so i don't do that um and uh, another difference is in the sauce here so uh the sauce looking smelling really good looking okay as well so uh it's achieved that kind of like thick consistency now and what really does that apart from just the just the process of uh kind of simmering it along with everything else is uh the traditional recipe asks for a little bit of sugar in it again i don't eat a lot of food with sugar in it either um, and just kind of ruins the taste for me a little bit i might be a little bit of placebo might be a little bit in my head so what i do is i what i did today is add a little bit of uh, um, flour or to make it a little bit more viscous because you obviously don't want a runny sauce with with uh, cakes or balls in them right so we're kind of getting there with that uh, these will have to be done in two batches as the first batch and then all of this moves on over there right um, things are looking good I'm getting fairly hungry uh, unsure what I'm gonna 
supplement this with I'm probably going to get some asparagus and broccoli going but um, also kind of feeling like a um, something really I don't know I'm not sure but uh, need to think of that uh, shortly so I can feast so anyway as the rest of the fish uh, sears it's it's quite a process so uh, playing the waiting game a little bit as I get hungrier by the minute but um, just been thinking about how there's one thing I just haven't been able to develop through the years is have a green thumb, right? Just keep seeing people everywhere with like them like just scurrying to bring their plants in to give them a green light or whatever in the winter. And I'm like, damn, like that kind of seems fun. Just like kind of keeping stuff alive where there's like in our house, plants come and they just go through the trash because just don't stay alive, man. I mean, there's one plant in front of me that I'm not even going to come turn the camera to. I'm looking at it and it's it's looking like there's no way I'm going to be able to put it on ICU and give it any further life. It, it's a goner, and it's just it's just out there. So maybe I just kind of uh, spare it of its misery soon enough. But I threw away two pots already this week, and I was away, granted. But you know, if I cared more about the plant, then probably have someone to come and flower it, someone to come and give it whatever, some um, sunlight vibes, right? But I don't know. Uh, really hoping to develop that in the years to come, but I'm you know, just looking around and I'm like, it also saved me a lot of money. It'd be uh, really cost effective for me to start growing my own herbs, but that too comes with a green thumb, right? And nah, it's not happened yet. So, unfortunately, my phone has. Everything's fine. So, unfortunately, my phone has started to die just a little bit so it has this mic thing so i'm gonna try and wrap up some of the final situations here so what i'm gonna do here is make adjustments right now right so this is what so i seared half of the batch half the second batch all the first batch and that's it the rest of it i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm not gonna throw all of the fish cakes into into the sauce I'm gonna use fish cakes as a separate snack for tomorrow, half of it, or one fourth of it. And, but the ones that need to go in the sauce are now in the sauce. I've added a little bit more black pepper because I really like uh, that taste of um, added black pepper. I also didn't add as much as I wanted to in the sauce itself. And I'm gonna to top it with uh, just a remainder of half a lime that I had. It's lime juice and uh, uh, give this thing a little bit already given it a tiny bit of taste tastes pretty good hey let me do that again actually um wow this is gonna be good stuff be good stuff look at how ridiculously good the fish cakes look wow wow cannot wait to get to this anyway the sauce though Mind blown. All right, that's it for this recipe. Um, but wow, I'm still reeling from that taste. It's it's mind-bogglingly good. It it really is, and uh, it's not my own recipe entirely. So you know, I'm not really uh, tooting my own horn there, but it is really good.